That degreaser just melts that grease. Awesome stuff, man.
All right, guys, we're going to do a little bit of cleanup on this section, and I'm going to go ahead and leave the piston in place. I don't want to mess with it. It's perfect. I really didn't even need to take the cylinder off, but since I am doing a little bit of painting, just a small amount in here, um, went ahead and took it off. So we're going to shoot the bottom. We're going to clean this up, shoot the bottom, shoot this section right in here, and uh, blend our paint colors in, and it should look good to go. So we're also going to do something a little different with the carburetor, something unexpected. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit it with some heavy duty mold cleaner just to kind of clean it off. I'm gonna go ahead and close the choke and then we're gonna stuff a little towel in here. I'm gonna clean the outside of it. The reed valve looks fantastic. Everything on this carburetor looks really good and I've got a sneaking suspicion that she's just gonna run. And I know that I can make it run because I've got some good carburetor cleaner. This isn't the cheap stuff you buy off the shelf. It's a few bucks more, not a lot, but it's actually gonna work. Good carbon choke cleaner. Seems crazy, guys, but that's all that's gonna need. I'm telling you right now. I could go in there and rebuild it for you. Um, it's a carburetor, you've seen a carburetor rebuilt. They don't always need that, and I got I know, I got a sneaking suspicion that this guy is good to go. If I'm wrong, we buy a carburetor kit, and this video doesn't come out for a few more weeks. Oh, this is not what I wanted to do. Yeah, totally don't have to take this part apart. <laughs> I'm doing this for you guys, and I think everybody, every one of us right now knows this is gonna be a pain in the butt. Springing it and not being able to get it back to where it needs to be. We're good though. And uh, potentially breaking it, having to wait a week for this video to come out. But uh, no, we're fine.
I was sitting here and I heard a kerplop and I thought I dropped something in my vinegar water. I did not. And uh, maybe someone in the comments can tell me how this would happen, but the act of soaking this in vinegar, look at the springs. They just exploded. One, two, three, four springs separated. And um, these were all in like this and it just popped. So now I've got to find a new spring set. That worked guys, incredible. And I'm not worried about it breaking. It's really, really good. Proof is actually in the pudding of it on the thingy, right? Pudding, putting it on there. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to take a very difficult to make gasket and duplicate it perfectly.
Oh, Eric. <clears throat> Perfect. So if you ever have an event at uh, your place, uh, just be prepared to have everything tagged. Okay, let's go take a look at the, well, there's Liam Hoffman. Here's Liam Hoffman. Look inside the microwave. Stickers in there. <laughs> everything you open, anything you'll see is going to have get tagged with stickers. I mean, it's just awesome. It's kind of fun. You, you get a hunt for them and you never know where they're going to be. So, Morton cabinet. <laughs> That's <laughs> just hilarious. <laughs> you got me good there. Quality of life. Yep. Backyard machine shop. Backyard machine shop. All of my tools are currently uh, tagged. Liam Hoffman again. So if you guys don't know, we had a large event out here at the museum and uh, brought a lot of cool YouTubers out. Oh, I'd say there's almost a couple thousand people out here to visit them. And um, I got stickered, I got tagged. It's funny, it's funny when you don't expect to see that on the inside of a gas tank of a chainsaw. And of course it was a perfect guy to tag that spot. Go about half a tank. All right, we're testing for spark the fun way. Ooh, we got a lot of fuel pouring in there. A lot of fuel. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Whenever you have a fire, don't panic. Just put it out. If you panic, things get worse. <laughs> uh, you know, maybe you can put it out. Is it out? Nope. Just gotta hold it here for a second. <laughs> that was awesome. Well, we know she has spark. <laughs> so as you can see, testing the spark in a fun way, that was the whole point. Um, but uh, 
obviously we're dumping way too much fuel so uh, we got to handle that fuel situation this little bitty sliver right here of uh, gasket material was holding it was like wedged in and it was holding the um, uh, intake valve closed I'm Justin, curator of the Old Mill Pond in Lindale, Texas, and um, you guys may be unfamiliar with these saws, these bow saws. They were designed to allow you to stand and then buck up wood, and that's really, really cool. And um, unfortunately, it's illegal to build these today. They're too, they're deemed too unsafe. And um, this one's missing a couple feet. I was thinking about making some. We're gonna wait. I'd like for this saw for the museum to be original. I'm not gonna run this saw on wood today. I'll wait for another video. We'll do a firewood processing video, maybe like how they used to do it back in the day. But uh, I don't know. Let's try to fire her up. What a masterpiece this is. We have two more of these in the museum. I'm gonna restore them both. You guys don't really care to see two of the same saws restored. So you won't see that, but we're gonna have the trifecta. The standard bar, I think it's like a 20 inch bar. And then we have a really, really cool one. It is a, uh, it's a narrower bar, but it is a bow saw. So it goes to more of a, of, of a point like this as opposed to a really wide point. 
Guys, thank you so much. Hit that subscribe button. We do awesome restorations on this channel. And if you missed the Good of the Land Fest this year where all the YouTubers came down to this amazing museum, this incredible museum, just Google the Good of the Land Fest and watch some of the videos that are up. Uh, this, this pond was packed with incredible YouTubers like Hantel Rescue, The Essential Craftsman, and a ton of Homestead channels as well. All right, guys, if you want to sort of support the museum, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, there's a link in the description for Patreon. Thank you, guys. God bless, and sorry I haven't had a video out in a while. I've been, uh, I've been real busy. Thanks.